Hey everybody, Six Dream Surprise. Following on from our previous video, today we're moving on to six way telecaster wiring. So, I've got a Fender Squire model here. Um, so, what we're doing um, it's a six way telecaster wiring set up using the fantastic 3B3 six way blade switch from Freeway. Right, so the 3B3 uh, six-way Telecaster blade switch uh, made by Freeway. Oh, let's turn it the other way around. If you, just see if you can see that Freeway 3B301. Um, essentially, it's it's, it's, this, it's this, the three-way equivalent of the the Strat switch that we covered in the previous video. Uh, exactly the same principle. Absolutely nice and discreet. Um, all the switching is done on the switch itself. So you're literally flicking between the upper bank and the lower bank um, and what this gives you um, essentially it gives you the four-way telecaster wiring plus an extra two switch positions so in the lower bank here you get your neck middle and bridge in parallel which is the standard three-way tele wiring that we are all familiar with and then you can flick it up into the upper bank and it adds, a, adds an extra three uh, tones essentially and, and pick up combinations uh, so in the bridge position here, and like I say, this is on your screen, um, so you can see uh, exactly what what's possible. But you can put the pickups uh, out of phase of each other, um, out of phase, but in series, and then series um, pickups in series together in phase, which is the that's the fourth position on a, a four-way tele mod. Um, so that's that basically. So what we're going to do, we've got um, a Fender Squire here. We're going to Firstly, go through how to wire up the circuit, the switch, the pots, and everything else, and then we're going to hook up the pickups, and we'll take it from there. Well, so as with the 5B5, the 3B3 uh, version, the tele version, does have um, various contact points on here, which are all abbreviated. Now, as usual, because it's in our in our control plate, um, the abbreviations are upside down, so we'll just flip them over quickly and go through them. Uh, where's my pointer stick? Just to highlight what they are, so NH is neck hot, A is one of the commons, NG is neck ground, OP is output, so that's what's going to connect the switch to the uh, the volume. Uh, B is another common, BH is bridge hot, and GD is ground. Um, there we go. Uh, pro tip, although I wouldn't actually say it's very professional looking, um, when you're working on Telecaster, um, obviously you can wire everything into the control plate and you want to put it on something that's hollow but elevated um, and it's nice and sturdy so here you can see we're just using an old uh, a finished sellotape roll you can use a mug um, as long as it's big enough and empty of course anything that would do that job is, is what you need okay so let's start by soldering up the switch so actually, as you can see, I've already done this off camera, but everything else about this setup uh, is, is identical to a standard three-way telly. So in terms of our capacitor, uh, one end of your capacitor goes to ground, um, goes to the middle lug on the tone control there, and the other end of it gets grounded. Um, one way of doing that, and you'll see a lot of people doing this, is they'll thread the other end through the uh, this lug of the volume control, and then they'll solder it to ground, because you need to make sure that lug is grounded anyway. It's, that is how it functions as a volume control. So I've done that off camera, so you just go ahead and do that. So the first connection we're making on the switch is we're going to connect the ground connection. That's the one at the end here, GD, even though it's upside down. And we're going to connect that to ground. And we're just going to pop that onto the volume pot casing. So as with our previous video, when we're working on a circuit board of this size, I'd recommend using the thinnest diameter you can find. Um, they can be quite delicate, you don't want to go all in on the solder, you don't want to uh, flood the solder joints. Um, so we're just going to thread this through, and again, as with the 5-way version, there are two uh, holes on each contact. Um, so we're going to do most of the connections on the lower holes, so to speak, and then we'll put the pickups when we connect them into the upper so as you can see here is that 
a little bit of budget but very effective um just using some sellotape to hold the wire in place because i do not get on with helping hands which is why i'm also using the empty sellotape roll let it cool naturally because the contacts on the switch are plated uh, your solder will flow very uh, nicely and it doesn't actually take too much heat at all uh, when it's cooled down just remove your tape push the cloth back down and like I say we're just going to solder this to the volume pot casing as our ground connection I'm just going to pop it on the edge of the pot there. Just like that okay so moving on to the next connection we are going to connect a jumper wire from uh a to the lug directly across to it which is ng um ng is where the neck ground neck pickup ground goes as well uh so we're going to put this jumper wire on the lower band of two holes and then when we put the pickups in later that gives us the second hole there just above it for the pickups so for your jumper wires uh as I mentioned in the previous video um, I would recommend actually using cloth wire or a strand of tinned copper just because it's a lot more rigid which is what you want in these sort of situations Something that's nice and rigid. To stop it falling out everywhere. Just like that, let it cool, push your cloth back down, bend it out of the way, nice and simple. So in the next connection, we're, we're doing exactly the same. We're gonna take a small um, a length of, like a lead wire, a bit of cloth wire, and we're gonna have a little jumper connection between the next common lug, which is B, uh, excuse me, uh, a jumper wire between OP and B. So OP is output, which is what's gonna to go to the, the volume control. Um, and B is the common lug, so we're just going to have a jump wire connecting the two. Uh, same again, just a nice small connection. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you put it in, just as long as we're very gentle, because we do need to put another wire in uh, in the holes above it. So same again. push the cloth back down and then we're going to connect either or doesn't matter OP or B and we'll connect that to the volume input 
and then we're going to connect uh, one of those two connections to the um, it's the output. So it's going to the volume control, the input lug of the volume. Um, it doesn't matter which one you do. Um, the freeway diagram actually has B, which is this one going to the volume input lug. Um, but OP is the output, so we're just going to connect it to, to that one. Um, like I say, they're connected together, so it really does not matter which one you put it into. Just like so. Snip the end off if you do, bend it back around. And then like I say, this cable, this wire even, is going to the input lug of the volume control. That's this one here. So nice and simple. I'm just going to feed that through. And we'll solder that into place in a second. We need to connect the volume input to the lug on the tone control directly opposite. So just before you solder that one into place, uh, we'll thread that, up, that the, the wire through and then solder them both together at the same time. Just like that, and then we'll solder that one into place as well. Just like that, and that is essentially how you wire up the uh, freeway six by Telecaster wiring. Connecting your pickups is nice and easy, and this is uh, mainly due to the fact that the diagram provided on the freeway website is uh, amazingly clear, but obviously all the terminals on the switch are labelled, so it tells you exactly what needs to go where. Now, firstly, for your neck pickup, if you've got a uh, metal cover, you need to disconnect the ground and reconnect it. So basically your neck uh, pickup cover has a separate ground so you you'll have two ground wires coming from the neck pickup now we have covered this in our four-way telecaster wiring tutorial uh, and there's a, a small diagram on your screen there explaining exactly what you need to do so you just need to disconnect the cover from the ground that's already there um, and then reconnect a, a separate ground wire for the cover um, so your cover ground is going to go to, to ground on your pot casing as you can see in the diagram or wherever you have as your ground typically it's going to be the pot casing your neck hot wire is going into the the tab that's labeled nh neck hot funny enough your ground wire from the neck pickup is going to go into ng uh, as you can see on the diagram ng is neck ground or a whichever you prefer um, as they are both connected so for the bridge pickup your bridge hot is going into bh which is on the right hand side there uh, bridge hot which is nice and nice and clear and your bridge pickup ground wire is going to be connected to, to ground as well um, obviously the main ground coming from the bridge needs to go to ground as always uh, and your output jack gets connected as it normally does in a typical telecaster setup so the ground from the jack goes to the pot casing um, and then you, the middle um, the signal wire from the jack is going to the output of the volume control which is the middle solder terminal um so what we're going to do actually just before we wrap up is just do uh, a test just, just to check that everything's working so if you've connected everything properly as per the diagram 
um, before you put your strings back on and everything and tie it and get everything tuned up ready to play. Um, it's always good to do a test just to make sure that everything is working. So um, typically we, we have done this in a few of our videos. So you want to use a blunt object, nothing sharp. You don't want to damage the um, pickups, preferably something that's not, um, not magnetic, although the impact is going to be beyond minimal. I wouldn't worry about it if it is. Uh, it doesn't need to be metallic though. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to flick through the switch positions and tap the pickups to make sure that everything is connected. So this is in the uh, downward position there, the, the lower bank is referred to. So this is going to be what our typical Telecaster three-way setup um, in parallel. Um, so we'll just check the, this should only obviously be neck pickup only. Um, flick to the middle, we should have neck and bridge. And position three should be neck only. Let's just check the tone controls. And the volume control. So that's all working nicely. And then we flick it up into the upper bank. And this is what gives us our series and out of phase switching options. So actually this test now does become a bit um, mundane and redundant because regardless of the switch position, both pickups are gonna be selected. Uh, so we'll just check that they are both connected. Perfect. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you wire a uh, three-way 3B3 uh, six-way switch. It's the six-way Telecaster wiring mod. Um, as per the previous video, I'm not going to be demoing it myself. Um, don't really want to put you through that. But I have links below and there's a card at the top of your screen now. Um, the, this, the, this wiring mod is uh, demoed uh, amazingly well by Helen Ibe. Uh, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing her surname correctly. Um, so I'll put a link to that below. Um, do check it out. And then if you have any questions or comments, of course, as always, please don't hesitate to get in touch. And we'll see you real soon in the next video.